All right, here we are at the trade deadline, kicking ass. Now, some people are suggesting, and uh, they may be right about this, who knows, that it's actually our coaches keeping us up, which to me still seems a bit nuts because if a well-coached team can only go so far, you still need good players. And in my opinion, these aren't good enough players to be where we are in, in the standings, in my opinion. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. We do have a decent defense, of course, so... Perhaps that was the issue. We have good coaches. Now, someone also pointed out that it's coach influence means how much of an effect that they actually have on the team. I was told in the beginning, and I always kind of thought since then, that coach influence has to do with them kind of um, helping other coaches to, like, grow and get better. It'd be great if, if you know, there's a little fucking blurb above uh, all these things to, like, you know, tell, tell you what they actually did from EA. Like... Every other game, anything that you don't understand is kind of explained. Even early access games. Shout out Bannerlord. A lot of things are explained in there about what things do. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so okay, that makes more sense to me. If, he, if coach influence means that that's how much effect he's going to have over a team, he's going to make this team better. I still don't think this team should be where they are in the standings because this is honestly should be the worst team in the NHL. But, okay, if, if that's what it is, that kind of makes more sense. I didn't want to, maybe I should have waited to get that guy, but, again, the reason I got him was because he was, he's literally almost perfect for what I like to build my team, wide, uh, for what kind of works for, uh, what am I trying to say, like, for how young players are usually drafted, plus, Darlene loves it, obviously. So, I mean, that's obviously huge. Cousins can deal with it. He's okay. Roots Alina obviously likes it. I mean, it's good for role players. It's good. But, I mean, this is, it's literally almost perfect. Pinch cycle, pinch cycle for your top four is brilliant because that's most of what you draft. Of those defensemen are pinch cycle. Pinch balance is also good because mostly everyone pinches. Uh, all the defensemen you get later in balance, I mean, you'll maintain decent chemistry. What you really want is to get plus five to plus three in the top four and you will 100 percent get that with this sort of strategy with line with the with the forward lines behind the net and overload these are perfect to have on first and second line um crash the net obviously i wish he had crashed the net on both third and fourth line for how i like or just maybe on fourth line but not the end of the world again i again it's i really 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 like this guy he it's it's like i said it's almost personal so i got him to eight years for nine you know freaking max his ass out because i mean he's also hella good his teaching's a bit low but whatever that might even get better he's only 46 so i i didn't <clears throat> excuse me quite want to wait on that um so yeah that's the reason sorry i was just getting texts <laughs> um so that's kind of the reasoning behind that now let's see do we have any extensions dude i don't think so i'm gonna double check on that though and we'll peruse some trades some possible trades here. Oh, yeah, Root Solon. Does he want a better deal yet, or is he still... He still might want a bit. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get too much of a better deal. Now, I could... He's looking like he'll go, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna go crazy yet. He's not a guy I'm going to go crazy on. Like I said, he's 24, 81. I like him. I really do. I'm not going to get him super long-term. I can't get him RFA. Even with a one-year deal, I think that's lying. I think he won't be RFA. So... Now, the question is, how long do I want him? How long do I want to sign him? I do want to lock him in for a, a, a pretty decent amount of time. So, let's see price tags. This would be 2.4 for four years. All right. Uh, 2.5 for five years. And we're, with where he's projected to go, it is looking like he'll be a third line. Eh. It's kind of close, though. Let's see if I only do three. What's that price tag? I'm trying to just find the best kind of deal. That's 2.3. So 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. So we're, I'd only save 200000 if I did that. I'd kind of rather get the extra year just in case, as I said, he actually does become a solid third liner. Having him for 2.5 for five years will be a great deal. And it's a good deal regardless. I don't think he'll cap out at the fourth line. He might. So this is slightly risky, but we have the cap space. By the time this is going to be maybe overpriced, it'll be almost up. So we'll have that going for us. But again, I actually think this guy's going to grow a bit more. 
So stoked on that. Sorensen, you don't get extensions. Pac, yet. I might want to keep him around. But, mm, I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, all right. It's not a horrible deal, honestly, but it's not amazing. Oh, unfortunately, I can't get him for that. It has to be that. Whatever. I would. I want to keep around my grinders, so I'm going to do that. Shea Hand doesn't want to come back. Who cares? Twinsky sign. Rowney is a depth piece. I mean, I kind of really like him as a depth piece. 83, 80, and 84 is not bad. Yeah, I might be able to get something better, but my, you know what? You can play AHL or something if I don't like him. Look at that. Yeah, he wants a an extension like that. Sure. Uh, Halak doesn't want to come back. Lukanen does, so what kind of... So it jumps up pretty heftily. I could sign him. I could take a big risk and sign him for around this, and hope that he hope that he jumps, and grows into this. It's a bit risky, yes. But if he does become at least a starter, four point one two five will be a pretty damn good deal. Question: You know, what? if I do two years, he'll still have him as RFA though. So in the grand scheme of things, if I do two years and get it for seven hundred fifty, that's less than a mil. I'd be, I'd be saving, let's say three mil each year. So I'd be saving six mil. After this, is he really gonna want much more than five six? And when I do the math on that, longer term deal, I think the way it may break down, I might even be saving money regardless by doing this. The thing is, the reason I, I was kind of doing that because I don't need him this cheap right now. Damn. I'm, I'm torn on this. It's risky. It is risky, especially as he hasn't really performed too well here yet. You know what? Yeah, I'm going I'm to play it safe. I'm going to play it safe and do this. Or I could do three. No, no, let's do two years because I know for sure he'll be RFA after that. So, yeah, let's let's do that. That's just, yeah, you don't, don't want to go to, I'm not going to do that to a goalie unless they've proven themselves yet. What am I doing? Almost making the Martin Jones mistake. How dare I? Hey. Alright, so that'll be good for extensions. Um, Trade-wise, I don't really know if we do too much. I think most of our trades is going to come at the draft here. We can grab one more second. And then I'll have five in the first two rounds. This is my cap, so four, five, six, seven, eight. We only have eight picks, so we can grab three more and another one in the first two rounds. Huh. Yeah, what can I get for a second? I'd love to get a second, but what do I have to give up for a second? Not really a whole lot. I like eh, 20 at 64 now. He's kind of he's also a two-way guy, but he's not worth a second. Unless I patched him with someone else. I'm holding on to Reyes and Lizelle, I think. Oh yeah, I wanted to call some guys up. So you know what? I could I could trade away a defenseman. I'm not going to trade him on tour. Uh, I could trade away Miller because he's on one year left. Yeah, this is actually this is a great idea. Let's trade Miller and that other guy. And I think I should be able to get a second for that. I should actually move out of forward though too because I wanted to call up those two guys. I wanted to call up uh, what's their name? So. All right, hold on a sec. Who? Let's let me check my HL real quick and see who I'm calling up. Where they're gonna play? So we're gonna call up. Start, please. Thank you. We're gonna call up Perfetti. Yeah, I think. Ooh, well, we have a different. Well, what's this coach about? I don't know. I can't check. He really likes the second line. Anyway, probably going to call it Perfetti. Quinn might, I mean, he might, won't have the mo most fun there. But it's not like they're crushing it. And I, I mean, Perfetti's crushing it. Quinn can take or leave it. If I move up that, they'll still have decent chemistry. Won't be, like, horrible or anything. Ooh, Asplund. He's only, he's a two-way. But, good, oh, my goodness. This guy might be my depth piece. Look at those stats, man. He might be my top six depth piece long term. 
Look at that. Offense awareness is decent. Passing's good. Defense could be better, but he's got a good shot and everything. Yeah. Looking pretty good. So, yeah, call up Perfetti and call up Hanala. Ooh, Davidson just keeps getting better. He's now, yeah, perfect. He's now once top two. Oh, sorry, Sweeney. Sorry, Sweeney's the guy. Ah, he's still only, yeah, sorry, he's still only listed as a top four. But if I call up Hanala, I might as well put him in the top two with Fitzgerald for the rest of the way. I could also play him with Bryson, who's better. Bryson's better, so we just make that switch like that, yeah. All right, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to call up Heinola and Perfetti, and so I'll need to trade a couple guys here. I could trade Gergensen's. Really depends on the, uh... Does Perfetti have good face-offs? Yeah, he's got the same face-offs as Cousins. That's pretty nice. That's a lot of flexibility. I could trade Bjork. I wish he had more value, but he's not going to get any stack growth. He's only got 29 points. And this gives me playmaker, power forward, sniper on that third line. Yeah, so I think I'd trade Bjork in this situation. Or I'd trade, but, uh, uh, yeah. Or i trade Sorensen. But I do really like Bjork. I just don't know when I'm going to use him in the longer term as a two-way guy. He's got another year, though. Sorensen does not. If I could figure out a way to trade Sorensen and someone for a second, then I'll do it. I just, I think I'll need Bjork's value anyway. Well, I, I want a pretty good second. That's another thing. I want a pretty high up second because, sorry, I keep <laughs> going back and forth here, but I also want to show you guys what the draft class is looking like so far. I do want to get myself in range for a, a sort of a low elite here. So here's what we're looking at. Don't know about this guy, but I can interview him. So top six are going to be elites. Here's another right. Uh, there's a right D two-way guy. I might want to grab him. But again, we already kind of have some two. He's shoot pinch, however, which isn't the greatest. Winger playmaker is okay. Um, center playmaker. Savoie here, who's weak on face-offs, which I 100% don't like, especially if he's going to be in your sort of center. Honestly, I don't know what to get here. Lambert's not bad, obviously. I don't. I think he's two way though. Obviously, Shane Wright's incredible. And then, of course, is a power forward, but with, with, with weak character, apparently. And I'm kind of curious what this guy is. If he's a sniper, he might be worth taking a look at. But yeah, I don't really know. Other than that, I don't know what I really, really want yet. That'll take a bit more doing, a bit more figuring out. But I'll show you guys what we got so far. Oh, baby. Elite grinder. Oh, he's weak on... But he got two-year ETA. Fuck. Who is this guy? Oh, it sucks that he has weak face-offs, but what the hell? He likes crashing the net. He's a perfect fucking third liner. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't notice this guy. That's huge. That's absolutely massive right there. There's a medium elite steal. If I've ever seen one. How about some lows here? We got one. And he's in the first round. Yeah, I don't I don't even know if we're at, So, it's not even that big of a deal if I don't get a second. I would like to get a second. There could be some decent guys in there. But, by the looks of it, it's not like we're going to find many low elites. So, I still want to move those guys, though. So, I might as well grab a second if I can. I don't have to get a super... If, if we find someone there with the rest of the scouting, I guess I can move for him. But it doesn't have to be a great second, I guess. So, I could move Sorensen, maybe hold on to Bjork. All right, all right. This took a lot of talking out to myself. I didn't do any pre, and I'm also kind of, my, my mind's a little hazy. See, that's good. That's good value for Bjork, man. Uh, my mind's still a little hazy, man. So I, I don't like to move this guy, but I don't really see where I'm going to use him, especially as a two-way guy. So I might as well capitalize on a bit of value. Him and Sorensen. That ain't going to be enough for a second unless it's kind of a shitey second. Do I, anyone? Oh, someone wants Sorensen. Vancouver. So, yeah. I might just have to go for an okay second. That still might not go through. Okay. They accept. You know what? I'm fine with that. It's not a great second. Wasn't a great deal. That, this, that gave me pause right there simply because I was like, wait a sec. I guess I could have traded also the defenseman for that, but I kind of want to get another third now <laughs> because of that low elite. I want to make sure I can grab him. 
Um, that gave me pause because like I, I changed back trade value, didn't I? I believe I did. What what's going on here? What do I got to do? Oh yeah, I think it's just line. Uh, actually, I, I should take that time to move up. What's his name? And then fix that. I don't want to best lines so that'll just screw everything up. Oops. Doing everything backwards. Yeah, anyway, pretty hazy due to my second shot yesterday. I, dude, it wasn't horrible. Like, I've heard worse. I've heard some worse stories. But basically what happened, like, I, it, I was, obviously the sore arm. The sore arm's the worst part about it. And now this morning, I got, like, my lymph nodes are swollen. Only under that arm, too. Like, in that armpit, you know, the lymph nodes over there, they're super swollen and very, very sore. It's like my armpit's super sore, which is an odd sensation. Anyway, Bjork goes up. I move Cousins over to the wing, I guess, and then throw Perfetti in. There we go. We're going to do that. Oh, really? Still only plus one, huh? Third line, you like it. Yeah, okay, it's Skinner, probably. Okay, no, all right. It's whatever. Plus one's fine. Uh, but yeah, and then at night, man, last night, I, I started getting, like, you start feeling sick, but then, like, I started feeling fever symptoms. But, like, hilariously, oh my god, what am I going to do with this? Here we go, I'll do something like that. And then, uh, but it, I didn't have a fever. It was very weird. It was a weird I, I literally was feeling feverish. And then I che kept checking my temperature. I was like, no, 98, you're fine. I'm like, okay. And then, like, towards the end, I started having, like, massive chills. And you start feeling hot. Even It was weird. And then took some NyQuil, went to bed. Slept for like 10 hours, so hopefully I just slept through the, the worst of it. And now I woke up today, I just feel a little fatigued, a little hazy in my head, and that's it. So I kind of, I feel like I had a pretty mild experience to what some people told me. Especially, and I've also heard that women actually have worse experiences because uh, estrogen actually um, makes your immune system more effective, essentially, in some ways. Which is interesting, I didn't know that. I did a ton of research, obviously. Alright, so now we need to also trade... I can best lines this, I guess, but I don't want to. I'll just kind of shift everyone up. Do I have someone who can play center? I don't think I had any. Yeah, I didn't have any freaking... <laughs> All right, Borgen, you get to play 4C. Yeah, that's terrible, whatever. Now I need to move Heinle up, so I need to move one of the defensemen. Now this is the one I want to trade for like a 3. So let's do that. Uh, ba -ba -ba Miller, I guess. Ah, can I get a three for that? Might, won't be a great three, but I should be able to get a three. Might have to retain. Can I still retain? I think so. If I retain, I'll 100%. And I want... Well, it doesn't have to be an early three again. Because the guy we're looking at is coming in the 100s. But hey, if there's another good one, maybe we'll want it. Because you got to think, you know, 31 is the latest. 62 is the latest. And this one, 93, is the latest, so a late one will do it. I wonder if I could actually get a 3 and a 4. That would max me out, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, it still wouldn't. Yeah, we got 5s. So two more, yeah, I still only have ten. I could still essentially gain another one, although I don't see how I would do that. Yeah, getting a three and a four wouldn't be bad. I could have a bunch of shots on on those guys. So I'll retain on Miller. Try to make that go through. To get a three and a four for this guy would be massive. Wow, okay. All right, I need to check that because that... I'm going to check out see it make sure I'm actually on... Hard trade difficulty, because that's kind of weird. I, I know I changed it back. I'm just like wondering, like, did something mess up? Did I like not save properly or what? Make more roster moves. God damn it. I don't like it. I don't even. I can't. I, it's so hard for me to multitask right now. I don't know why. Uh, so call up Heinola. There we go. Oh, boy. All right. So he and Montour will be there. 
Oh, what's going on? Shootout? You don't belong on the shootout. This is a terrible shootout lineup. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we're still winning games apparently. Only 85 deking. Where is Cousins? What's he like? I mean, neither of them are really good, but whatever. I'll just throw Perfetti on there. Alright, so Heinel in there. Now we move up Sweeney. Does him and Fitzgerald maybe make it better? No. Alright, so whatever. I can move up Davidson. And then throw in this guy. Do I have... Alright, top 6, 64, 21. The other guy is what? 65, 21. Okay. Throw him in there. And it's a great way to stay in shape. Quinn extra attacker. Quinn's already on the shootout. It's going to kind of be anyone here. Is he already on there? No. Okay, good. <laughs> OFD. I don't even care about his stats. It's CHL. All right. So there we are. Trade, trades have been made. So we got a new third line with uh, Perfetti slotting in there. And then we have uh, Heinola, uh, jumping up Heinola. I don't know. Someone tell me how to freaking pronounce that. I'm just going to go back and forth on it. Vili Heinola, Heinola. I should know. I'm getting better at the Finnish pronunciations, but apparently not good enough. All right. That's going to be our trade deadline. There we go. We got extensions. We made trades. We got some picks. We have 11 total picks, five in the first two rounds, which is max. We can grab one more. I don't know if I'll even do that. I might even have less by the time we're done drafting, but that'll come to uh, moving guys around. So let's go. This is going to be, I have a good, this, this is going to be a great draft, I have a feeling. We are going to have ourselves a good draft, man. I'm so stoked. That, me and Malik Grinder has fucking two-year ETA. Now, yes, he won't be able to play center, but... And finding center grinders is not easy, but remember when we went with Horvat and two grinders, that actually still worked out pretty well, even though the chemistry wasn't great. All right, Rowney, Pocket, Rutzelainen, Lukanen. We got a ton of fins, man. Uh, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not entering that trade deadline. Let's see if there's any moves made here. Well, it's simming for a while. Hopefully at least one blockbuster trade's happening. Let's see some movement. Come on, NHL. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, there better be something or else this sim is taking way too long. Mmm. There we... Ooh! Lundell getting moved to Nashville with a second and a six for... Tolvin and in yarn croak. I gotta say, Nashville really came out on the better side of that, I think, but alright. And that's it, really? How's all that simming for that? Get out of here. Alright, well, we lost that game. Uh oh. Good ass fought again. Okay, throwing Yoki. There you go, son. In you go. And yeah, winning some games. Like We're just going to be that team. We're just going to be that team. It was actually kind of good. It's all right. Maybe lesson learned, don't have good coaches. <laughs> I Again, I, I really don't. I still don't think coaches should have that much of a fucking impact. Like, that coach, okay, yeah, they get us to around 500, maybe just over, but... To be third in this division, which is pretty strong, is, is actually impressive in my opinion. But alright, whatever. So hey, we're now, lo now we're losing games. Not going to be enough to push us out of the playoffs. Oh my god, we destroyed New Jersey. We have 40 win season now. We're just too good. Just too good. Scouting time. Alright, continuing on here. Pressing towards the playoffs. <laughs> Yeah, we're crushing it, man. Now, the Lightning, oh my god, the Lightning and the Leafs, their records, though. 
was pretty ridiculous. Hundred. Oh my god, we just shut out Philadelphia one nothing. Hopefully UPL was in that game. He needs some better stats here. Uh, Cody Cece on waivers. Go, go get him, Edmonton. Go do it. Look at him. Look what he's being paid. 1.6. It's about what he's worth. Fucking idiots. Or Asplin, that's unfortunate. I don't even... Do we even have a depth guy left? How dare you guys. I, I tried to get rid of all of them. Oh, that's right. We got one more. Alrighty. So here we go. Finishing it off. We have made the plan. <laughs> Wow, okay. Come on, man. April. No, he's not out for too long, but we do have to call someone up. So, Lukanen. You may have to be the guy. Both of these guys have to clear waivers. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Hmm. Well, there's no waivers in the playoffs, so... That's what I learned. Someone told me that. I, I used to... Because I used to think the to cutoff was the deadline. But like, oh no, maybe there isn't a cutoff in this game. But it's the playoffs. So, hey, we won't have to... Deal with them. But here's the thing. Do I call up Tukarski, get Lukanen in some time, or... Or what? Yeah, I guess so. Get Lukanen in a game or two. He won't have to hopefully carry. But I think we... I want to give him a taste of some playoff action. Baptism by fire. And some random goalie who's 65. Actually, not bad. You can get in the 60s. So that's nice. All right. We're playing Toronto in the first round. All right. Oh, he's already back. What the hell? That was pointless. So we're in the playoffs at least now. So I can send down Tukarski, right? Without. Yeah, there you go. That was. Uh... I, yeah, like, I love that when they're injured for like one day and you have to call someone up. Like, come on, EA. Like, just make that a minor injury where you don't. I don't know. Whatever. So, auto rotations. Kind of makes this interesting. What am I going to do? Asplund is back to. You don't know. No, I'll wait till he's actually fully back because it'll make me go out of there. Alright, so we won't be fully healed until here. Right, they'll probably play Hutton because that's who they've been playing all year. I guess I'll just, I'll let it rotate. I'm not going to worry about it. We're not supposed to be here anyway. Uh, oops, why am I checking their lines? I'll check their lines right now, then we'll go check out all the stats and stuff, so. What? Zach Hyman's 90, 90 overall. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Toronto's fucked. Toronto's absolutely fucked. But I mean, cool. You better win the cup soon because that contract, though. How'd he do this year? Well, he maintained it. Pretty impressive. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's their team. Lilligran actually made it. Oh, Muzzin. Not a bad... That's a really freaking good defensive core for the AI. Now, they have a lot of it from their... Okay, they have no goaltenders. That'll do it. Alright, we'll see how they do with no goaltenders. Alright. Well, that's that. That's the team we're up against. <laughs> they should kill us, but, you know, we're gonna win. Alright, let's uh, check out the stats and how we did... With this whole season, Darlene led the entire team in points with 78. What a beast. 3-2-4 goals for, 3 0 2 goals against. Power play was at 20% pretty much all year. This was penalty kill. Was there, around there, pretty much the whole year. We didn't hit 100 points, but we made the playoffs. So we got 95 points, which is pretty 46 win season, man. It's not bad. I don't really care how we stack up to the rest of the team. I'm not trying to be good right now. Let's just check out some individual stats. I wanted to get to the draft, but I knew this would be a longer video because we were bound to make the playoffs. Look at Duclair. What a year. 
Duclair, 71 points, 33 goals. Granlund, 68 points. Simmons, 61 points, 27 goals. Skinner didn't hit 30 goals, unfortunate. Uh, Cousins, 55 points in 82 games played. Not too bad playing third line. Look at that. Power play production. Shit, I forgot to put what's his name on the power play. Yeah, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, well, sorry. I can do it now, I guess. Uh, Gergensen's 48 points. Lowell, Skinner, 47, 27 goals. Bjork at 34 points. We're still lying in 29, which is pretty good. Uh, Pose with 27 and 66. So, I mean, not too bad. Twerinski. Perfetti, 8 points in 21 games played. Yeah, that's my bad. I should have put him power play. It's not bad production, but I should have put him power play. Whoops, these All right, Darlene, 78 points, and then everyone else sucks, point-wise. Uh, Hanala, minus 2, 5 assists in 21 games played. Not too bad. He's a top 6 guy now, 21. Still kind of hoping he gets up to, like, 84. That'd be nice. If he doesn't, though, just stay at 80, 81. <laughs> you either get to 84, 85, or stay at 80, 81. Alrighty. And Halak was our starter. Lukanen. I don't know, man. He's now 80. He's now 23, too. Still 82. I still, I still need him to get to those mid-80s. I think he will, but... If he doesn't, he doesn't. Well. Pretty damn good team here, huh? Well, apparently, we're going to get tons of stat growth. I'm stoked about that. <laughs> hey, there he is. Good job, Eichel. It, he jumped up to high franchise. Maybe I should have put him at like low franchise. So, but he, you never know if people are going to jump up. But there's Eichel. Looks like he's having himself a good situation. Huh? I think we traded him to the right spot. 113 points for him. Stamkos with 111. Marner 111. Matthews 109. Kucherov 104. 102 for Ovi. There's Dreisel up there 96. And... Apparently McDavid's not good. Unless I missed him. Whatever. Goal leader would be Matthews with 58. Pretty ridiculous. Who's the assist leader? Marner with 72. That makes some sense. We're going to see some, yeah, the Lightning and some Winnipeg. All right. Yeah, I, I, I think it's safe to say we sent Eichel to a great place to succeed for himself. So I'm happy about that. Game winners. Who's the most clutch? I, I, I think it's still, I mean... All right, so technically it'll be Stahl and Dano, but that's an impressive amount of game winners for Kucherov still. Power play goal leader, Ovechkin with 22. Power play point totals, uh, Crosby and Ovechkin tied with 34. Shorties, uh, three for Trocek. Bonino's up there with a couple. Henrique, point totals, okay. Around there. Let's see the possible Selkie candidates. Crosby's up there. I like it. Larkin. Look at him. Larkin, Selkie candidate. I like it. Kopitar is up there. Nice. Barzal. Wow. Look at these guys. Barzal. Couturier, sure. Stamkos, nah. I don't see O'Reilly up here. There's Taves even. That's This is going to be a tight race for the Selkie. There's Bergeron, Lindholm, Barkov. Look at all these names up there. Damn. That's impressive. That's going to be a crazy. I don't even know who's going to win that Selkie race. Carlson. Oh, please do that this year. Please, I beg you. He's going to win the Norse. He's got the plus minus. He's got the points. He's got goals. <laughs> Impressive. Darlene's up there. He'll win one eventually. We know we will. He'll win one eventually. But good on you, Carlson. All right. Let's see who's the leader. Uh, Vasilevsky. Yep, and I don't know if you get Lunk. <laughs> what? Hank, he's res a resurgence with the Sharks. How many years? Oh my God, two years. <laughs> he's forty. Hello, Mike Smith. Oh man. Now, he was in a slightly worse situation, but it's not that much worse. He doesn't have like more shutouts or anything. It's so close. I want to give him the tie, but. I don't think anyone guessed Lungfist, so who cares? <laughs> I think Vasilevsky's definitely the leader. Lungfist had a good year. Price, you know what? What's impressive about Price is that he was on a terrible team and still managed to carry. If his goals against was better, though, I'd, I'd be more inclined to to put him up higher or say percentage was on par, you know? But So I think it's Vasilevsky, top goaltender. All right, so we should see some clean sweeps here this year. Unless you guys completely screwed up the other predictions. All right. 
Rookies. Oh, yeah, Cousins was a rookie. Ah, uh -huh. Caulfield sucks. Uh, <laughs> 55 points for Cousins. Should be winning that Calder. Good job, especially playing third line with some power play time. He's now an 83, too. Good on you, Cousins. Yeah, I gotta get a... What's his, what's what's dude's name on the power play? Any rookie goaltenders? Oh, Ned. I mean, what the hell? He's still a rookie at 26? All right, well, those are great. Those are fantastic rookie numbers. Can't lie. But with the age, I don't think you'd give it to him even... Because he's freaking 26, man. It's a 21-year-old who had 55 points. Those are terrific numbers, though. Stupid Carolina. All right, hits. No one hit 200. You guys are a bunch of softies. Okay, well, there was O'Reilly. Somehow I missed him. Yeah, he might... Might actually win that Selkie again. In fights, just Clifford and Borbieski. Everyone else is soft. All right. So there we go. Oh. All that's done with. Playoff tree. Uh, Hawks against the Stars. Winnipeg against us. No, that we're not the Oilers anymore. <laughs> Winnipeg against the Oilers. Uh, Arizona versus the uh, Coyotes and uh, the Sharks against Vegas. Oh, nice. Some rivalry matchups in there. And then the Flyers and the Caps. The Canes in Florida. Uh, us against the Leafs and the Lightning and the Penguins. All right, so there's your playoff tree. Let's get into it. We already know what we're going up against. We're going to let auto rotations decide our fate for who plays in net. And let's go. Game one on the road here. And that's one fully healed. Yeah, I got to put it back in there. Oh, I could have just hit continue, I guess. Yeah. Oops. There you go. Damn, he's loving life. Asplund in there. We lose 4-2 to two in game one. All right, can we bounce back here in game two? Uh, Halak is all better. Nope, five to three loss. Back on home ice. Can we win a game? I'm not gonna bother line change or anything like that. Uh, nope. And one game away from being swept, just allowing so many goals. But we're not gonna keep that team out the score. But we get swept. <laughs> oh fuck! I forgot. God damn! I still forgot to forgot to put him on the power play. Oh whatever. <laughs> it was four games. Maybe he gets one point. All right. So there you have it. We got swept. I mean, as what should have freaking happened. So, hey, the Leafs made it by the first round. Yay. Congrats to you guys. Let's see uh, who got points. Duclair, Darlene, yeah, Granlin, Cousins. Ooh, even Cousins. Ooh, Perfetti got a couple. Uh-oh. See, if I put him on the power play, maybe got one more. Maybe we'll have three. How dare I? Skinner. All right. So, decent, decent stuff here and there. Neither goaltender did well, whoever played. They both played. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. Sharks level goaltending right there. Let's go. That's pretty rough, but hey, it's the it's the Leafs. It's the freaking Leafs, man. Alright, so we got eliminated in the first round as we should have. We should have never even been here, but you know, things had to happen. So draft will be up in the next episode. Guys, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.